Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Funny Animals Furry Funny f- Furry Fun Funny Furry Friends. Oh my gosh, I gotta get used to it. This is um really fun. I'm really excited to share this one today. We have some really cool new ones. Let's get right into it. Let me know if you've seen this one on my video. I can't remember. I don't think so, but I don't I'm not sure. I don't remember. I can't seem to find it. I'm pretty sure I downloaded it a while back. Uh, or a while after doing all these other videos, so let's get right into the first one. So, well, that looks so cool, a splash pad for dogs. I would love that. You know how many people would be there, and a great community, <laughs> cat dancing, that looked so fake. Okay, it is fake. <laughs> At first, I think I saw this before, and I thought the cat was real, and I was like, how is he dancing to the beat? Like, he is dancing to music, which I have to cut out, unfortunately, but I was like, how is he doing so good? And I'm like, wait, that's fake. That's a fake cat. It fool, almost fooled me, but it fully did, didn't fully. Anyways, uh, I do have a funny story. My boyfriend almost fooled me about why his farts don't smell. So if you want to know about that, uh, leave a like or a comment below. Why is my mic sounding off from this webcam? Let me know. I have a webcam, um, I think it's a, a Mic J5 or a J5 webcam. So if you guys are familiar, maybe it's, an, well, I got it last year. I think they would last a little longer. So let me know if you guys know if they last quite some time. Um, okay, number two. That's a nice, that's a beautiful elephant. Wow, just picking him up by the nose. With his with the elephant's nose, uh, they must like uh, they they must be trained and professionals to work with the wildlife here. I'm just curious though about these uh, just falls, <laughs> but it is cool how he's giving him a nudge on how to pick him up. Um, is that like just a little horn on the side or like a tooth? I I, I don't know what those are called that come out of the elephants. That look like a tooth, but I don't think it is. Uh, I've seen Myrtle Beach. I see that it's in Myr- Myrtle Beach Safari, and I used to, and I went there once, and I saw like got the whole baby tigers, got to feed the lions and everything. The one thing I'm not too sure of is, do they sedate them so that they don't hurt us? And then also, I've seen like options where you could like um actually be in the water with them and stuff. And, and like 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 animals like the wildlife and kind of trained to probably be with like be like feed them be a keeper of them or whatever but that's really cool that this elephant is helping him up um to get on the elephant now what do you do when you're up there what is the purpose of being up there it's cool it's cool that he's in the water though Elephants are so beautiful. I think I was on one when I was three years old when we were uh, on that circuit when we had circuses come to town, which I don't think we do anymore because of the treatment of the animals. Okay, on to video number two. No. Yeah. No, three. Sorry. Okay, video number three. Here we go. Stay to watch. And stay here and watch this. Oh, the hyena. They're so cute. I bet you they're, you gotta be careful, you gotta learn to work with them and whatever, um, obviously, because you cannot, uh, you probably, if you're a stranger to them, they would definitely hurt you if you just went up to them to pet them, probably, unless you are very trained and cautious, but I think it takes them time to get to know you, um, so this person has probably worked with them for a long time, or a couple of years at least, and now they're used to her, so now they don't mind her, and they would never hurt her. And animals, I don't think, really want to hurt you. It's just if they feel threatened. I know that with bears, if they feel threatened or, or whatever, they'll they'll do what they can to hurt you. But again, I'm not sure about wildlife animals. I don't know. I don't do enough research to know. So, he's so cute. All I know is if they're happy and healthy, that makes me happy. They're so cute. So cute. Sweet hyena. 
They, um, I can't remember. Again, you can go check out this page. I don't know if she has a name for these hyenas or animals. I'm not 100% sure. I think she did. I can't remember her name, though. Uh, uh, let's see here. What was her name? Let's go back to the beginning. You probably won't see the beginning. It doesn't say. He says. <laughs> maybe her name is Champy? I don't know. I think so. Maybe that's what they have her name as on the title. So maybe that's her name. Okay. I don't know. Let me know if you guys figured that out. Go check out her channel. She has some really, I'm sure she has some really cool, awesome wildlife um, animals to share on, there, on here. One thing I want to learn is how to pause while screen recording so I could still talk to you guys. I'm not too sure how to do that. Um, anyways, video number five. Oh, wow. Really fast bunny. He's, whoa, he's ripping. Wow, ripping through the course. Did you rip some, too? <laughs> rip some of those, like, little tube things or whatever they're called? I don't think so. I think they were already there, those holes. But, yes, that's funny. Wow, have you guys ever had a bunny go that fast? I guess they are typically fast, eh? Okay, moving on to the next one. Okay, video number six. Let's go. Oh, just going down the slide. Is he afraid? He's like one foot's up for protection and he's down, so he's happy. <laughs> Interesting. Funny how like do they always walk like that with their hands or do they um also walk like humans on their two feet? I'm curious. I don't know gorillas that like obviously I don't pay attention to gorillas that often. They do we watch the uh natural geo geography channel upstairs a lot, like while the dogs are just in the in the kennels for the day. So uh I would love to know, like and there's always gorillas on there, but I don't know if it's I, like if I really pay attention to how they walk. Um anyways, moving on to I think the last two. No, the last three. Okay, that last one was video number five. Sorry, this one's number six. Here we go. Wow. Oh, They're just playing together. I've never seen a turtle and a dog just play together. I hear turtle bites are really, like, painful. Or they can be pretty painful. Especially, I guess, a snapping turtle. Where are you going, buddy? Hey? <laughs> that dog's like, no, no. Get off of me. Get off of me. And the, other, and the turtle's like, no. I'm latching on. I'm latching on here. <laughs> we're buddies now that's really cute i've never seen that so that's that's fun to watch if you guys um have turtles as pets let me know in the comments below on to this time the last two videos okay let's watch the last two together oh wow look at that pony go oh lots of energy oh I feel like with ponies, they lose, like, their flexibility as they grow older. Horses, same thing. I feel like they only have so much because they're such big animals that they're, um, again, like, I think, if you know what I mean, like, they're not as flexible as some other animals are where they could just, like, you know, pop a squat, sit like a dog, or... Ugh, like totally do like a like a big dog stretch or whatever you know what I mean like they it gets harder for them to roll around in the grass I don't know I'd love to hear your opinions on that and then the last one um is here we go what is this cow doing he does he looks like he's on a mission and so did that horse actually that little pony oh oh shoot no way he is not happy with that vehicle there Oh, that's a pretty big dent. I hope the the owner of the cow offers to pay. Unless that is the owner of the cow and the cow is now seriously running away. I would love to know more of that story. But that is it for me. You guys have a lovely rest of your weekend and we'll chat soon. Bye now.